It's 10 o'clock, the Brexit election is over, and it looks like this. The exit poll is predicting, is indicating, it's a Conservative win that the Conservatives will have 368 seats. It's not just a good night, a great night for the Tories. Boris Johnson could win 368 seats, would we'll give them a majority in government quite clearly. Actually, have a look at how that actually works out. So there we have the numbers, but let's put them into our kind of virtual House of Commons. So there you have it. It's our government builder essentially taking all of those parties, all of those results. This is from the exit poll. Let's put the Conservative numbers into the government benches, as it were. So those hexagons represent government benches. And that line, look at that line. That's 326 seats. It takes the Tories comfortably past the total they require. Labour doing well in cities, not so well in towns. That's one of those stories we've seen as the, the map of Britain has been changed. And we'll have much more about how that's changing uh, over the course of the next few hours. And East Dunbartonshire, what about Scotland in general? I mean, but let's look at the Lib Dem lead. Our team of election analysts have been tracking those results and is ready to update the prediction contained in the exit poll. And we at Sky News are now forecasting the Conservatives will win between 358 and 368 seats. Conservatives have formally won this general election.